Joining me for We Should Talk today is Senior Pastor Jeremy Pridgen with First United Methodist Church in Panama City. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, Kimber. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing well. So I know y'all had a big event this Saturday, feeding the homeless and offering showers for them in the area. And this is 10 years in the making. So tell me, what is this event or this program all about? Absolutely. Uh, this morning, we marked the 10-year anniversary of our community breakfast. It's hosted every Saturday morning at First United Methodist Church here in Panama City. And uh, today was a day of celebration. It really was. Uh, if you consider that uh, you had 520 Sundays over the course, or Saturdays over the course of uh, 10 years, and maybe 50 to 60 people each Sunday, you've got 25,000, 26,000 meals that have been served by volunteers here in our community from our church from other community groups, civic groups that uh, each week gather and try to help alleviate hunger and suffering in the community by connecting with those who are less fortunate. And on top of meals, I know we kind of touched on, you also offer showers. What does this mean for folks in the area that are without? You've considered, uh, you know, just those as basics, you know, getting a haircut, being able to get a shower, being able to get some basic clothing. Everyone's dealing with the increased cost of living and some of those necessities that uh, are going up in price or squeezing people who may not have enough resources. So this is a great way for the community to uh, help ensure those gaps are met. And uh, the shower trailer is just one example where uh, those who you know don't have adequate housing are able to come and just be clean and, and be able to uh, kind of feel like a normal person. I think anyone who went through the hurricane remembers what those disruptions were like, but this is an everyday occurrence for uh, you know many in our community. So the community breakfast and those extensions of the ministry, where it's the uh, clothing and the shower trailer or having uh, you know the haircuts available from time to time really do uh, mean so much to those who come up on Saturday morning to our Trinity Center. And tell me, what, what does it take to host this breakfast every week? What goes into the planning for these? Well, I want to say a special word of appreciation to a team that we have. We have a community ministry board. It's chaired uh, this year by Brad Young. Uh, the uh, one who had the vision for this ministry is Dr. Ted Wilson, a retired surgeon in our area. And this group of volunteers has worked over these 10 years to develop relationships with uh, different groups. And they're cooking teams that come in and they give a, a particular Saturday of their time to uh, prepare the meals. They show up early, they'll stay late, they'll interact with those who come. And, and so it's a well-oiled machine, but there's always room for more. And uh, if you are interested in helping out, you could reach out to us at First United Methodist Church, Panama City. Be glad to get you in contact with those who uh, are part of this ministry each and every week. And that was going to be my next question. How do y'all plan to expand this program or what do you need from the community to keep this going? So if, if uh, you know, there are those that have uh, a desire to help in this area, then uh, you please let us know at uh, First United Methodist Church in Panama City. Uh, I can uh, you know, get that information to you. Um, you can find us online on uh, Facebook. Uh, our website's fumc-pc.org. Uh, and so we're you know, located just uh, kind of in the downtown area right before the bridge going into Millville. So we're right there in the heart of the city. And uh, our uh, team meets uh, regularly each week. Um, as uh, said, if you're interested, we can connect you. Or if you have a group that's looking to do this, we have uh, – you know, um, the other churches that come and bring teams. So uh, it, it is a great way to see kind of the diversity of our community, the breadth of the, you know, kind of the socioeconomic strata that we have here. And uh, uh, it, it's just really a one, wonderful experience to uh, be part of. So um, always looking for help. And if you have that uh, opportunity, we'd love to get to know you better and talk with you more about uh, places you might be able to serve. And I know with the Methodist Church, there is a lot of impact or focus on giving back. So how does this program tie in with y'all's mission? You know, we really are trying to make a difference right here in Panama City and across Bay County. And whether that's our community ministry or our backpack ministry that helps with feeding you know, school-aged children during the course of the year, or our food pantry that operates each week, uh, this is a church that's very active, engaged in mission I, I've been a district superintendent where I served and had oversight of 50-plus uh, churches in the western part of the Panhandle, Escambia, Santa Rosa, Oklahoma County. And, uh, one year I asked those churches, said, if your church disappeared today, would your community miss you? And I know that that's the case here with First United Methodist Church of Panama City and with our faith community. 
that has really stepped up to the plate, not only during uh, you know, regular times, but disruption of uh, you know, the hurricane or the pandemic, the faith communities have rallied. And uh, this is just one great example of uh, working across denominational lines and even some interfaith lines to uh, help uh, over the course of 10 years here today. And so it was a wonderful morning at First United Mothers Church and the 10-year uh, marking of the community breakfast. Well, Senior Pastor Jeremy Pridgen, thank you so much for joining us today on We Should Talk. It's truly remarkable to see the impact y'all have over 10 years feeding and helping the homeless in the area. I hope you have a great day. I uh, hope there are many, many more years to come. Cameron, thank you for reaching out and uh, appreciate uh, all that you do as well.